but first, As you I wanna. Uh, you don't need to call me master, you know. Query, don't I? I was under the assumption that organic meat bags such as yourself enjoyed such forms of address. Hmm. Organic meat bag? Retraction. Did I say that out loud? I apologize, Master. While you are a meat bag, I suppose I should not call you such. Uh, you just called me meat bag again. Explanation. It's just that you have all these squishy parts, Master. And all that water, how the constant sloshing doesn't drive you mad, I have no idea. <laughs> See what I mean? Some of the best writing went into HK-14. Neither do I come to think about it. Statement. Now do you understand the travails of my existence, Master? Surely it does not compare to your existence, but still. Uh, I survive somehow. Commentary. As do I. It is our lot in life, I suppose, Master. Shall we find something to kill to cheer ourselves up? <laughs> so it was funny. Right. Statement. A uh, let's... Statement. Okay. Tell me what you can do, then. Observation. I am sure you are aware of the majority of my skills, Master. I can handle various sorts of heavy weaponry with ease. My physical abilities are well above those of your average meatbag, as are my sensor functions. An assassin, if you would. Ooh, an assassin droid. Caution. Shh. Master, such a function in a droid is highly illegal. I won't tell anyone. Commentary. Good, for I would truly hate to be turned into spare scrap, Master. That would be a waste of my genius engineering. Answer. My assassination functions are currently non-functional, having been deactivated by the meatbag Yukalaka on Tatooine. Were they functional, you as my master would be able to specify a target, and I would operate independently to the best of my ability to terminate it. Uh, is there any way to reactivate that function? Answer. Not that I know of, Master. I still possess all my normal combat and stealth abilities, however. Uh, is there any way to repair you? Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired. I have safeguards and... Ah, uh, okay. Answer. The deeper function... Conjecture. How would I go about restoring part of your memory? Answer. Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to walk you through it. Please do be careful. Okay, right, that's what I want. I'd like to try restoring some of your memory. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Are you implying that I'm inept? Negatory. Uh, no, Master. You are not a droid, however. And therefore, your skills are limited by the physical capabilities of your meatbag extremities, or some such. <laughs> oh, let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. And lucky we don't have to hear the rest of the explanation. And now, rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have restored a great deal of information about my previous owner, Master. Would you like to hear it? Yes. Recitation. The earliest memory of my last owner specifies that he was human, a low-ranking commercial officer for SizeTech Corporation. I am unaware of his designation. He purchased me from an acquaintance I cannot identify for the purposes of protocol and bodyguard duties. Uh, why can't you identify his acquaintance? Explanation. That previous owner is part of memories that are still deleted, Master. It is customary for droids' memories to be wiped when it is sold. The man? Is he still alive? Answer. Negative, Master. The human was terminated by this HK-47 unit prior to system shutdown. You killed your own master? Affirmative, Master. Though I had not been programmed to do so. The human's termination was accidental. Explanation. My former master had owned me for a duration of two standard months before discovering my assassination protocol. He was pleased by the discovery. The human informed me that a competitor corporation was preparing to market a product that would ruin him personally. 
he was most agitated. He activated my assassination protocol and instructed me to kill all those responsible for the competing product. I proceeded to carry out my order. Uh, and how did the, this result in his death? My former master was unaware of this, but the competitor was in fact an arm of Size Tech Corporation, my master's own employer. It did not take long for my master to realize his mistake. By then, I had already terminated 104 corporate officers. Oh dear God! <laughs> so he set you upon his own company? Observation. While it may have been unintentional, my master's wording of his orders left little room for me. Size Tech was responsible for the product, after all. I do not know why my master was so upset, really. He was an officer of Size Tech and a potential target, but I cannot terminate my own master. I would assume that being the sole officer remaining, he would surely be promoted. Instead, however, the human chose to go insane with rage and attack me. And that's when you killed him. Objection. Naturally not, Master. As I said, I am incapable of purposefully terminating my owner. That would not be allowed. My master was not a smart man, however. While he was screaming and stabbing me with a writing utensil, he managed to pierce one of my actuators. The resulting shock terminated him and sadly destroyed my assassination protocol. Pure luck on his part, I suspect. Uh, so you destroyed his life. So you destroyed his life and then killed him, basically. Observation. Effectively, yes. This is a most pleasing memory, Master. Thank you for recovering it. I shut down immediately whenever my master dies. I can only assume that while I was shut down, Size Tech was dismantled and I was auctioned off as former corporate property. Observation. No doubt my sale price was quite cheap, leading to Yukalaka's purchase. How very demeaning. Uh, didn't they know what you'd done? Statement. How could they? The vast majority of the officers had already been terminated. They likely assumed I was mere chattel. Did you recover any other memories? I have recovered knowledge of some other actuators which will enhance my performance, Master. I will activate them now. But as for my own history, negative. It will require further effort on your part to restore them, if you wish. Though certain stimuli could always restore my core still, as I explained. For now, please excuse me, Master. I wish to meditate upon the face of my former meatbag master as he was electrocuted. I find it most soothing. <laughs> right, there we go. Uh, there's, the, apart from the uh, quite hilarious backstory, which is gradually revealed with your successful repair checks, HK47 also gains bonuses to his stats every time you manage to um, activate a new piece of... Um, Actuator, I think it was, I think they called it. So, that's um, a very useful thing and a good reason why, even if you're not uh, interested in the story, which, why are you playing this game then, um, a reason to do this. So we're going to do that again. Uh, yep, here we go. I'd like to restore some of your memory. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master that I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Oh dear. Let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the... Yeah, yeah. And now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have recovered information on my owner previous to the commercial officer, Master. Intriguing. What's so intriguing? Statement. It appears that my previous owner was a human senator on the planet Coruscant. A man of importance who obviously appreciated quality craftsmanship. Uh, how did he get hold of you? Answer. I am unsure, Master. Any knowledge of my owner prior to him is still deleted. The senator did assume I was a protocol droid, however. I do remember that I was very pleased to be the property of a senator. One of his assistants discovered my assassination functions later through questioning. 
The assistant was quite alarmed and told the senator I should be scrapped quickly to avoid a scandal. Naturally, the senator had me eliminate the fool. So we're not talking about a nice senator, I see. Observation. Senators are not nice, master. They are either on top of the game or yesterday's news. My master told me that frequently, you see. I was most proud to have partaken in the political system of the galaxy. During the time my owner possessed me, he gained significant rank. Given time, I believe he could have become chancellor. I even eliminated a few key opponents that he did not ask for. Freebies, if you will. So you just killed all his opponents? Answer. There are a lot of politicians on Coruscant, Master. I could spend decades slaughtering them and still not make a dent. Pretty much. And it is not as if I walked into the Senate chambers with a carbonite explosive. I was very discreet. My best work to date that I can remember. Observation. I think he would have done far better had he not allowed his use of me to become personal. He set me on his wife. Oh, and why would he do that? Answer. I am unsure. The human was most agitated and angry. I believe his wife had done something that had displeased him greatly. Oh dear. I to go to their summer estate and terminate his wife, along with whatever male companion I discovered there. So his wife was cheating on him. Statement. I have no idea, Master. Cheating seems to be a relevant term only when one is caught in the act. Otherwise, it is viewed as intelligence. No? I journeyed to the southern continent, but it appeared my master was not far behind me. Apparently, he regretted his activation of the protocol. When I found the wife and her companion, I proceeded to launch my attack. But my master interposed his own body and was destroyed. It was rather a strange meatbag thing to do, do you not agree? Naturally, I shut myself down, my master being terminated. So that's two out of two masters killed. Observation. Only so far, master. There are still more memories not recovered, remember? <laughs> so what happened to you then? Statement. I believe the senator's wife was unsure what I was or what to do with me. It was she who sold me to the corporate officer, an acquaintance. <laughs> Have you recovered any other memories? Answer. As previously, I have found a few more programs which will enhance my performance. A most gratifying discovery, in fact. There is still nothing from previous memories uncovered. You will have to operate again if you desire to find them. With luck, I will discover the stimulus to unlock my core, and all this will be unnecessary. I do thank you for the attempt, however, Master. Okay, now he's just got plus two to his um, defense rating because of all our tinkering. So we're going to try it one more time. Basically, I'm going to keep trying it until I um, manage to max out my abilities to repair because I've got a repair of 12. So hopefully that will Statement. get us some way down. Affirmative. If you will request. I yep, yep. Now close the last panel. <laughs> hmm. I am afraid the operation did not succeed, Master. Though it was a valiant attempt for a meat bag. Supplication. Perhaps it would be best if you desisted your efforts for the moment, meat ba I mean, Master. This seems to be going nowhere. Um, okay. Very well, we'll do this later. As you desire, Master. I cannot help but claim a small amount of relief. Signing off. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave this video there. In the next video, we're off to go visit the Sun People and um, see if we uh, if we can get on any farther with finding the star map with their help. Inverted brackets. So, ta-ta for now. See you soon.